heavyweight division. Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner to my left. He wears red trunks with white and black trim. An all-action warrior who always makes it fun. From Boston, Massachusetts, Aquila. And his opponent, standing directly across the ring, fighting out of the red corner to my right, wearing white trunks with blue trim. Tonight, he makes his long-awaited professional debut. He has Johnson here at Boston Boxing presents Fall Brawl at the PAL Hall in Fall River, joined by Aaron Bernardo and Chris J. Guys, we got four rounds of boxing. Don't go to the fridge. We got some heavyweights. Uh, <laughs> we absolutely do. And this crowd that has not seen professional boxing for 33 years is here to see a hometown professional debut, and they are fired up, Aaron. Got yeah, they are. No, Chris Aiello is a... Uh He's definitely very familiar with this ring right here. Yeah, I gotta say, Chris Aiello in the blue trunks making his professional debut against five fight veteran Akia Prote. And Aaron, I know you know a little bit about Chris, so tell us a little bit about his uh, amateur background here as Akia charges yeah. and is going for it early. I mean, so Chris is no stranger to this situation. I mean, he won the Southern New England Gloves in 09, 2010, and 2011. Wow. And he actually won the New England Championships and qualified at Lake Placid, New York for the Nationals. Wow. So. Definitely uh, a pretty good amateur background. And, and he, he's in here for his debut with uh, a very wild fighter that we've seen a lot before in Boston boxing yeah. promotions. I expected he, this fight to look a lot like this. He always <laughs> makes it fun. Yeah. You know, Greg, tell us a little bit about one of your favorite club fighters. Uh, Kia Prote from Boston, Massachusetts. Listen, you're not going to get a lot of technique with this guy, but what you are going to get is heart. He's going to be trying to get a win, and he's going to give you about five good minutes of energy. Yeah. Uh, but he's going to be going for it during those five minutes. He's going to make you work in there. You better hold your gloves up and be able to counter through his yeah. shots. Chris being very poised, very relaxed, clearly has a lot of experience. And he's yeah. doing the right thing when a guy's bum rushing. Just you know, let him throw his shots, cover up, relax a little bit. Yeah, he's a notoriously slow starter. He loves that Philly shell. He loves that jab to the body. Um, I've done I've done some rounds with Chris Aiello in the past, and uh, one of the best heavyweights oh. I've ever seen come out of this. Area. Oh, he got his jab attention with that body shot. Jab to the body. He's got him in the corner. That was the punch that really did not, he did not, Prote yeah. did not like that, that body yeah, Chris shot. Chris is a very, yeah. very, very good puncher. Prote still hurting from the body shot, wincing. Yeah. Up and, and down, there. and Prote is down. That was there an excellent is. combination. And this place has gone bonkers, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if Prote gets up. He typically does, but I don't think he wants yeah, that any more Yeah, that body worked. He, Chris invested really well in the body. I don't and see that it. Is that's it. it. Ten there count. KO1. <laughs> Chris The Fall River Pal has gone mad. That it's pandemonium. Pandemonium. On their feet for Chris, Chris Aiello. Aiello. First Aiello. round professional debut KO. Yep, he did it. You know, great. It actually looks like even though the body shot started things, I think there was a head shot in there that really affected Prote because he's, he's reaching for his head, not his body, as he's on the ground. Yeah, so. they're getting him back up. Thankfully, it looks like he's going to be okay, but he's uh, he definitely got hit by something solid there, guys. Yeah. Yeah, Chris but is a big puncher. He can generate a lot of power from a short distance. It, this is a party atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this place is rocking. Again, first Ball professional River. fight card in over 30 years, and to make your professional debut in your hometown for Chris is really yeah. special. No, that was an excellent knockout. We've seen Prote many times, and he usually gets up. Uh, he takes a lot of punches, but that one was a clearly a solid punch, and he wanted yeah. to call it a day and, early. And like Chris said, you know, Chris did exactly what he had to do. He stayed patient, took that little onslaught, Kept his hands up high and then returned yeah. fire. Now it's going to be interesting to see what Chris does with his uh, career because he essentially took a 10-year layoff from amateur boxing yep. and decided to turn professional here tonight. Yep. So he's a much older fighter be making a pro debut, and we'll see oh, if this and, is a uh, one and done or if was, he wants to yeah, continue like his to, career. I'd like to see him again. And it doesn't get much better, guys, than a KO1. So yeah. you, know, you know he might be thinking about, hey, maybe I might come back and do this again. Yeah, yeah. He, did what he, had, he did what he was supposed to do tonight. Yeah. And credit to Prote. He did come out swinging, as he, he always does. Yep. He gives it what he's got. A guy that's trying to earn his paycheck. you got to respect it. You know, you, you got to mention it, guys. Uh, from our angle, Chris is a big man. I mean, yeah, if you look is. at the size of his he calves, his legs, yeah. he's massive, massive, massive. Yeah, this guy. You know, on he, camera, he looks a little short, but when you see him in person, he's a yeah. very big man. He is a yeah. chisel. I mean, just look at his calves. That's where all that power comes from. It's, yeah. it's unreal. 
Great vibe here tonight, though. The place is rocking. Oh, they're, yeah, they're, the energy level just went through the Boston, roof there. Boston Boxing has brought professional boxing back to Fall River, Massachusetts at the historic PAL. That is what you're watching, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, first ones to do it. Just amazing. Yeah, this, this, uh, this venue has been home to the Southern New England Golden Gloves for I couldn't tell you how many years, but it's yeah. great to see some pro bouts in this yeah. legendary building. Absolute legends have competed here, including marvelous Marvin Hagler. Unreal. And uh, stepping into this venue, it's like a time machine, guys. It's like it walking is. back in the 70s, 80s to a yeah. Tuesday night fights with Sean O'Grady and Al Albert. <laughs> yes, it does. Calling the action. And, and even more Tuesday night fight fitting ringside here is the legendary Vinny Paz from nearby Rhode Island. Yeah, we yeah. got Vinny Paz sitting across, uh, sitting on the uh, other side of the ring. He's been enjoying the fight, so it's really great to see some you know, a local, uh, oh, I think he passes more a local legend. I think he passes the, one, of the best, one of the best of these. That was fun while it lasted. A round of applause for both of these combatants here tonight. The end comes at 1 minute and 30 seconds of round number one. Referee Melissa Kelly reaches the count of 10. Your winner, being knockout, is the 